there's something that I should mention that, you know, I've been taking all this time to talk up in the air to myself, not knowing to what God, all these visions that I've been shown, and all these gods of Israel that are being worshipped that are not the most high in the world is worshipping them. And everybody thinks it's all the same God with different names. Every, you know, it's just, it's, it's terrible. It's like the things I'm being shown, it, it just doesn't match with what people are preaching. And, you know, Jehovah Jireh is a reptilian from the third heaven. The government is ran by reptilians. Jesus Christ showed me this. I don't know if I, I thought I already talked about this in a video. Jesus Christ, several, like maybe f over six months ago, gave me this old vision, you know, and he showed me, he took I already explained this, and it's like people aren't paying attention. And Yahuwah is not the Most High. Yahuwah is a black man with his feet over earth. He's just some big black dude that's angry. He's God, but he's not the creator of the universe. Your Yahweh your, and your Yahuwah which are two different gods, they're not the most high. It's so obvious. I don't know how much more obvious it could get or what kind of spirit y'all are receiving that you call the Holy Spirit and which I respect. I respect the Holy Spirit. I do not want to speak against it, but... This is fucking ridiculous how deceived the whole world is. Allah, Allah, the most high creator of this universe, is Satan in the Bible. If you compare it, and it says that Allah created the Torah and the uh, Gospel, which is the Old and the New Testaments of the Bible, but it doesn't match the Quran. The Old Testament doesn't match the New Testament, and there's so many contradictions in your English version Bibles today. None of it matches. And why am I being shown visions of Jewish gods when I'm not even Jewish and I took a blood test? I'm 0% Jewish. Zero. This is crazy. It's so, like, how are people deceived? And as people think that Yahuwah or Yahweh, and, and it talks about Jesus is going to watch people burn in a lake of fire and sulfur in the presence of holy angels. How is Jesus the most high? If, or if, how is even, how is Jesus perfect? Or, you know, it sounds like that he's an evil human. And yet, somehow, he's perfect. It doesn't make any sense. How do you worship a God of Israel that wants to fucking torture and murder you? And it talks about it in the scriptures that you guys are reading. And you blame it on Satan? Are you fucking crazy? Have you lost your minds, people? Look at reality. Compare your scriptures. Read your scriptures. Don't close your mind and, and just believe and have faith. Don't believe or have faith. No. You need to question your Bibles. You need to question your preachers. You need to question your beliefs. And I don't care how close you think you are to God. You need to question which God you're worshiping. Which God you're praying to. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Do you have the eternal spirit? Or is it a spirit that copies it? There is, there, that you guys don't understand that 
the deception and the truth is like being made into one and and Christians think that you know certain things are true and it's not and certain things that Muslims and Jews believe in the Quran it talks about those who do not believe in Allah shall have their heads cut off and shall burn in a lake of fire and will have no mercy from Allah the Most High that's what the, the Quran talks about in the Quran Allah is the most proud I'm the most proudful one the one with the most pride is Allah and it says that Allah is the greatest deceiver as I have mentioned in one of my other videos being that Allah is the greatest deceiver and it even is said so in the Quran why do Muslims ignore certain scriptures that are evil and and scary and why do Christians believe God is so perfect when it clearly defines and shows in, in the Bible all the evil acts of God because of somebody else's evil choices? And it does it, it only says God and Lord and there's no names in most English Bibles. And that is the deception. Don't read, if you have a King James or New International Version, and if you're just throw it away or burn it. Just burn the fucking thing and dance on it or something. It's so fucking corrupt. It's so evil. You guys need to stop with your King James and your New International Versions and your other false Jewish version Bibles. You're not going to get nowhere to the fucking truth unless you become a scholar. And that's what I might go to college for is to become a religious scholar. Because I literally, I can't stop. This is five years. Five years of me sitting on my ass, literally fighting demons, getting sick constantly, having Lucifer speak to me, having Jesus speak to me, seeing Yehoshua in a vision in, in, his, in his father from space. And you know, it's like... But I could tell you, man, I have had, been having so many reptilians in my house visiting me. Just, I have no idea what's going on. But in my mind, I could see reptilians all over my house. And they're walking around everywhere. And it's like, nobody notices these things. You guys, people need to wake up. Spiritually wake the fuck up before it's too late. Because these some angels are gonna eat our flesh, some some angels of God, some angels of your New Testament and Old Testament Bible, Jewish or Muslim God. I'm not sure which one will literally kill you and let the angels eat your fucking flesh in the Book of Revelation, in the presence of the holy angels and Jesus like how is that perfect or holy when you're reading such blasphemy you're reading such evil and you guys are so fearful of God and you believe that God is so perfect and he's clearly showing you that he's the greatest deceiver of all and we're being deceived every single day I'm being deceived with these visions these different gods are showing me it's like I'm seeking the most high and the most high is not this Jewish or Muslim or Christian God it's, I don't even think it's Satan or Lucifer Like I really don't know, it's like so confusing, what's the real truth, do any of us know the real truth we can have a million visions we can have, there's so many scriptures that were left out of the bible and so many different Bibles with so many different added books and so many different con Christian congregations and Jewish congreg over 649 Jewish congregations over 10,000 Christian congregations all with different beliefs and who knows how many Muslim congregations and there's so many different beliefs that people say are from God and every belief they always say, you know, the Christians say, oh, we have the Holy Spirit and Jesus is God. 
and he came in the flesh, while the Muslims say that is a deception. Jesus did not die for your sins. Jesus was a, a holy prophet and messenger of a law, while a Christian says um, that, you know, that he wasn't a prophet, and the Christians are wrong because they're not reading their Bible. Even Jesus Christ says, worship God alone. And Jesus Christ never said to bow down and worship him. That is a false teaching of um, your preachers in your church. Jesus did not say, bow down and worship me. Jesus did declare that he, that he is God in a way. But he said, me and, me and my father are one. It does not mean that he himself is God. It means that they are one in a really perfect relationship. It doesn't mean that Jesus Christ is declaring that he is God. But Jesus Christ did say, I am. And when you have the capital I and the capital A-M, that is declaring to be yourself to be God when you call yourself the great I am. So it's very, very, very contradictory scriptures of what the, the claims of Jesus. There's two different books on the death and resurrection of Jesus in the King James Version Bible from like two or three different prophets that were following Jesus at the time have their own stories of what they saw and witnessed. And everything is so fucking contradictory in every religion that they say worships the most high or true God. They say their religion is the perfect one. Their religion is the correct one. You know, and, they're, and the people are willing to die and kill other people for their religion because they believe it's the only way and the only path to God. Muslims believe Islam is the only way. Jews believe Judaism is the only way. Christians believe Christianity and Jesus Christ in their beliefs is the only way. They believe you have to believe in his death. That Jesus Christ committed suicide and killed himself is a fucking human sacrifice so we could get to heaven. And we've literally been believing that bullshit for so long and it doesn't make any logical sense. It, it, it literally doesn't make any sense. You're going to commit suicide and kill yourself on a cross claiming to be God to get to God up in heaven that you say you are, 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 already are? How can you be God in the flesh and have God in heaven kill yourself to reach yourself in heaven if you're already in the flesh? How can you be both in the flesh on earth and God in heaven at the same exact time, commit suicide to reach yourself in heaven? Like, it literally, the scripture doesn't make any sense when you logically think about it. Think about it. Use your minds. Don't believe just... Ahead. Don't listen to the bullshit the preachers say when they say, have faith, have faith. You know, don't use your eyes. You know, they say have faith, but, you know, you have to do the will of God as well. It's not just fucking have faith. Wake up out of your ignorance. Wake up out of your deceivement, you religious imbeciles, you fools. Wake up. Because this, this religious thing is like a fucking circle. I've like literally been going around five years in this. And it's a trap, I'm telling you. If you study religion, study it. Do study it. It's the best trap you will get yourself into. Because you need to know the truth. You need to know how the religions are connected and how the different gods are, and it's not just the Bible. You need to read the Nag Hammadi Egyptian scripture with the different versions of the Bible and compare that to the Quran. And that's what I did. A I did that a little bit. I did. I didn't fully do that yet, but I'm going to do more of that pretty soon. I'm going to study the books and compare them a little bit more. Maybe in the future, I might go to college for it. And, yeah, I might get a career out of it. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, but it can be very confusing. So just seek the most high creator of the universe that is outside of religion. And seek the perfect God that doesn't kill his son, that doesn't 
you know, expect human and animal sacrifices for sins because that's what the Jewish and Islam gods I expect is human and animal sacrifices for their sins. Throughout the Old Testament and even the New Testament, Jesus was a sacrifice. And, you know, just think for yourself. Um, try to gain the spirit of truth and discernment from the Most High, Creator of all. Who And there, nobody knows the name of the Creator of the universe. Nobody truly knows. Lucifer can say he is, but is he really? Do we really know? Just because Lucifer's telling me, am I being deceived? If I'm being deceived, I will repent of my sins. Peace out. Pray for truth. Discernment. Goodbye.